Uh, Ish was asking, when you negotiate 90 days before you make the first payment to the seller, in other words, you go ahead and close on the house now and don't make the payment for 90 days to them, what's a good escape clause if you can't find a buyer before that 90 days is up? Well, I just, just want to be real clear here. If you are concerned that you're not going to be able to find a buyer in 90 days, I would not close on it until you've got your buyer lined up. Because if you go ahead and close on it now, even with 90 days and no payments and you get to the end of that 90 days and you don't pay, that's not, how, that's not what we're trying to do here. You, you want that 90 days so you got, you know, better cash flow up front. But if you're going into this thing unsure, if you're going to be able to make the payment in 90 days, don't close on it yet. Because you don't want to have to go through the whole process of giving the house back to them and, you know, they've already moved and, yeah, you don't want to do that. So the whole thing of getting 90 days and no payments is really just about helping your cash flow on the front end when you're sure of the deal. You see what I mean? Okay. Ishmael, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. That, that, I, I'm glad you cleared that up, man. I saw that, you know, Ronald Grand was, you know, he was giving that example on how to do yeah. that basically on a chalkboard. And I was like, huh. Now, so, if it's a great deal... Yeah. That's the thing I say all the time, though. If it's a great deal and you want to protect the deal and go ahead and close on it, then right. close on it, right? Do it. You love the deal. It's a great, you got good numbers everywhere. Yeah. And see if you can get 90 days no payments. That's great. But if you're unsure of the deal, just line up your buyer before you close. I got you. Yeah. That's why I pay you the big bucks. <laughs> <laughs>